Well, hello and welcome to the Vuelta. That's the one. Vuelta a Bantr Vuelta Bantrap. Five stage race with, as we said before, some very, very big names. We've got two mountain stages, two reasonably hilly stages, and one, well, even though it's classed. As a flat stage it is still very, very hilly. Let's get into it and let's see who we are racing today. First of all, let's have a look at the settings. So normal, 1, 1, and 5. Nothing else is ticked. So, some reasonably strong teams. We have Ulysses with Team Pulte, Cometa, Kern Farmer with Kristen Rodriguez, Roubaix have Damien Hausen. And I call I have Alexander Camp, a bit more of a punchy team there. Monster have Abrahamson, a bit of a sprinter. I think it's Conchie's their mountain leader. Jesus Harada at St. Michael. Team Medlin have Nairo Quintana. Diamante have Steinhauser. Embrace the world, Ivan Sosa. Very strong rider, his team not the strongest. That's why they're ranked a bit further down. Benefica, Pern Steiner. Beat Cycling, Van de Biele, and us, our spectator team, Mapai GB. First stage, we see is quite mountainy, quite a few KOM points on offer and sprint points. There are no bonus seconds throughout the race at all. Favourites, of course, Ivan Sosa, Hausen, Rodriguez, Herada, Quintana, Ulysses, all those names mentioned before. Let's get into it. Second edition of the Volta Band Trab. First edition was won by Oscar Sevilla with Miguel Inga Lopez of Midland in second place. Can Midland win again with Quintana? Snowing on the start line must be bloody high up in the mountains. Let's get our Map Eye Rider to zero effort. Very, very small peloton, only 66 riders. So 11 teams, 6 riders each. Favorite by numbers is Diego Ulissi of Team Pulte Cometa. Is anyone going to go on the attack, or is it just the Americans on the front driving the pace? They want to keep warm. There we go, there's an attack from Benefica with a rider from Midland also. Is anyone going to go on the attack or is it just the Americans on the front drive? A small breakaway, two riders up the road, 33 seconds. More riders are trying to get across to them, so we'll wait till the break is established. It's like three riders, anyone else going to join, or are they just going to keep zigzagging across the road with Michael Garrison of... What team is that? Embrace the world on the front. Entering at sprint inbound for the breakaway of three riders, which is Stockman of Diamante, Oscampo of Medlin, Fernandez of Benefica. To me at sprint, I expect Stockham to take it, but Oscampo straight onto the wheel. Stockham on the outside. Easy win for the Belgian. Hausen win. Ooh, let's have a look. Who do I think is going to win this stage? I mean, this stage looks like it could come down to a mass sprint again. Fall in the pack. Three riders on the ground Laval, Cretin, and Contreras. Contreras is straight back into the pack. The other two have got a bit of work to do to catch back up. But there's no abandon so far, which is lucky for everyone. Mountain points up for grabs. Two mountain points available on this climb. I think Fernandez should take it, right? If, if he goes for it. 
If it comes down to a sprint, I think Stockham's got him again. Look back at the peloton, everyone is back together. Is no one going to fight for the KOM points? No one's fighting for it. Fernandez takes two points. Benfica. It's going to... No, it is Benfica. All good. I thought it was an I. No problem. Wow. The big dog's going to shoot me. Now the K1 point up for grabs. The Benfica rider. Fernandez takes it once again. Intermediate sprint we missed, but look, Slockman took that head of Ocampo. Oh, pretty good, Mr. Mr. Bergdorf. How goes yourself with the World Cup? Driving the front of the peloton is Beat Cycling Pulti Cometa, Saint Uber Monster, Roubaix. Is that uh, Sebgal Kern Farmer? Really, every other team, Kern Farmer. A lot of other teams on the front. Very poor conditions for a race. Fernandez of Benfica. Back on the front. He wants to grab some. He wants to grab the one mountain point on offer. Is anyone going to contest with him today? Nope. He gets the one point there up for grabs as well. There's a further five. Oh, he's got five points here. There's a further eleven points up for grabs. So still, the jersey can be anyone's. <laughs> oh, big dog. Anyway, intermediate sprint again. Stockman taking maximum points. Oh, Mansipi has fallen for St. Uber on this last descent, but he is up and he will, should get back into the bunch. Hey, Orlin. The lead is being cut. Looks like some of the GC boys want to push the pace later on up this climb. Nine hundred meters to the top. It is Fernandez of Benfica. Back up again at the front. The masters have an understanding, I guess, so he just drags them up the hill. Health on his Kern Farmer now. Pulte and Beat Cycling doing a lot of the work. Anyone struggling at the back? A few Benfica riders, Diamante riders, and Lopez from Medlin, but no one's struggling. Well, hopefully, who has Benfica got here actually? Mr. Sean Michaels. Benfica have up oh, and Steiner. Well, let's hope he is on a plus five day to beat the likes of Sosa and Hausen. Oh, there we are. Our first rider being dropped from the pack. Vincent Martzendijk. Jesus, a big name. Can't wait to get that wrong. He's been working all day at the front for the peloton. He deserves his rest, but it's a lot more climbing to do. Ocampo has been caught by the peloton, and it's the rider from Diamante, Stockman also about to be caught. Fernandez is hanging on, he wants these five mountain points. As more riders go straight out the back. Benfica rider has been passed with one kilometre to go up the top. It is Quintana going on the attack now. Nairo Quintana, is he going for the mountain points or is he going for a long range attack? 
Quintana takes maximum points over the top of that climb, followed by Grath and Stort Mitten. Now the others realize he is not going for the points, and they are chasing back up to him. Quintana now back to chilling in the peloton. Only 50 riders left here. Um, close to 50. Thank you, Shawn Michaels. Attessoates. Okay, I don't know what you're saying, Miyaza. <laughs> ah, you should make it up to Pro Conti, I'm sure. Palti Kometa now on the front for Ulysses. Ulysses also at the front here. Who's important in the second bunch, it looks like. Hmm, a few climbs. Oh, Bizcarta has been dropped. Even so, says a front attacked at the front of the bunch. He has passed by Gere. Quintana trying to counter. Instead, it's Contreras who goes. Contreras, Ulysses, and Aguirre. Oh, everyone's everyone's trying to get up to the front. Everyone's attacking now. The whole bunch has been split with Ulysses up near the front. The rider from Diamante, the Mexican rider. Freire. Quintana now going. Once again, Herada straight onto his wheel. Sosa's up in the mix. Contreras is now coming through to help Quintana. We see Lemon coming up through the left-hand side of the of the road. He is increasing the pace for his leader, Alexander Camp, and the three of them with Sosa have a lead. But to no avail, no one wants to push. Looks like Quintana is going for it again, and Pernsteiner from Benfica. This looks like an attack that will stick all the leaders nicely together in a line. Lemon drops off and blocks Conchi. There is a second bunch being formed with Sosa, Ulysses, Van de Bille, and Camp. Lemon now makes up for his poor timings and tries to drag this bunch up to the front to join Steinhauser, Herada, Hausen, Quintana and Rodriguez as Steinhauser goes once again. The rest of the bunch here with Sevilla is being led by the Polti team. Quintana goes again over the top of that climb. Quintana takes points there and he is now leading that points classification beating Fernandez. Quintana and Steinhauser over the top together, a group of four chasing them, followed by the second group of favourites. Ulysses, who died over the top of that climb, is alone. Second bunch is Howells and Herada, Van de Bille, Rodriguez, and they have now been caught by that. So all the favourites are now together with Quintana and Steinhauser out in front. So Sosa doing false things, absolutely. So, so hanging on the back of this bunch behind Alexander Camp, I do not know if that's a good idea. But Quintana and Steinhauser seem to be taking turns together. They have a 30 second lead with Hausen leading the charge down the hill. There are two riders from the glass drive, Seb Galtine. Six kilometers to go. Will Quintana be able to hold on? Lemon, the domestic for the Glass Drive Sebgal team, is on the front trying to drive the pace, but now Pernsteiner thinks he can take over, thinks he can do a better job. He is closing the gap, but it looks like he's wasted a lot of his energy in the process. Steinhauer's Hauser is leading out Quintana. The gap has reduced 15 seconds. Jesus Herrera is on the front of the group of favorites. Will we see Conchi launch an attack? It looks like we will. Conchi is launching an attack. We at the front. It is Quintana and Steinhauser sprinting it out. Quintana takes the early lead and wins the stage ahead of Steinhauser. In the back, it is Conchi. No, Van de Bille comes around Conchi in the last moment. Glass Drive taking 5th and 6th. Where's Pernsteiner? Back of this favourite bunch, but still there. Unlike Ulysses, who has just been passed by the other bunch, where De, v De Vries takes out the peloton sprint. 
Ulysses finishes in the middle of this bunch here. Ulysses, the favourite for the stage, not on a good day. First podium of the race, Quintana and Steinhauser win 14 seconds ahead of the bunch of the GC favourites. Of course, Quintana makes put Quintana in yellow, Midland back on track to win this race. Quintana is also the best climber, four seconds ahead of Fernandez. Stockholm takes is 15 points and is leading that classification for Diamante. Young rider is Steinhauser, Van der Beele at 14 seconds down, then a minute 40 back to those Peloton riders. Could not be worse. <laughs> Sabgar and I color. Oh, not even glass driver anymore. My mistake. First in the team's classification. CT results. Just my right at DNFing. Ulysses lost a minute forty six on this stage. Sosa lost 30 seconds. Ooh. Pernsteiner, he finished in the favourites group. 14 seconds down. Top 10. And we have GC exact same as the stage because there's no bonus seconds up for grabs. Stockham's Mountain, Katana. So Katana's Mountain, but Fernandez, we're at. Points is Stockham, Young Riders is Steinhauser, team is Sevgal and Color. Stage 2 is classed as a sprint stage. So Alexander Camp, Spragli, Reinders, De Vries are the favourites. Ulysses still up there, but we'll see how he does today after his poor performance yesterday. Hey, someone subscribed. Oral. Who subscribed? Ruben Hazas. Wow. You've watched like two, three streams and you haven't subscribed, but thank you for subscribing now. Let's get the top 10 riders in GC up on display. And that should be, I think. Look at little Quintana start on the start line compared to Milano. Little Quintana. Ah, manager of Roubaix, absolutely. Your team's not doing too badly. Eighth of Housen. <laughs> there we have it, looks like a different rider from Benfica. On the attack, a Tunes. And Tunes. Not enough KOM points on off. Actually, there should be enough KOM points. The KOM leader should. Sorry, Fernandez should try and get in the break. Because how many points are on offer here? 10 points on offer. If he, he got any, even some of those points, he'd be beating Naro Quintana. Milano for Midland is driving the pace on the front. Looks like a one man break for today. Lone Portuguese man against the world. Enchanting. We're on the climb, the Santa Elena. Only major climb of the day, then it's flat to the top. 
Peloton led by Madeline Sabagal and I color and Polti Kometa who think they have a chance today. Yeah, Sosa 63 flat, you're right, you're right. I wonder who's going to take the KOM points. It's of course Antunes, but is anyone going to go for them in the peloton? Are we going to see the KOM jersey coming up? Nope. Just whoever's on the front of the peloton. That would have been a good opportunity for Fernandez to get second there. Eight points would have put him in the lead of the mountain jersey. But the Benfica uh, manager is kicking himself, yelling in his radio. I guess we're a 2.2 race. There aren't radios. Big long train. Three major teams involved. Four major teams in the pacemaking. Polti Kometa, Subgal, Any Color, Uru, Bay, and Midland. Tuna takes maximum points. We missed the sprint in the peloton. That was my mistake. Vincent Markson and Van Stick took the points there. Very, very odd combination. We won't miss this intermediate sprint. We know Antunes will take maximum points. Van der Bille, is he trying to move up, trying to get some points, or is he he's moving up the sprinter? Van Sint Martin, he takes maximum points, and once again is the Polish rider in second behind him. Still our lone Portuguese rider up in front. The big dog is yelling. Awesome TV coverage for his team. Five kilometers next into immediate sprint. Andrew August on the front, former Ineos Grenadiers rider. Here come the sprinters. We see the little sprint trains. Abrahamson's trying to bring up the Polish sprinter. He's a bit too far back this time, I think. The Dutch rider will definitely take second once again. And third place goes to Andrew August as he just tries to roll through and try and catch this breakaway. 40 kilometers to go. Not sure why they're trying to catch the breakaway now. They're going very, very hard to try and catch this lone rider. Beautiful Ben Fika jersey. Peloton's just behind him. He's still hanging on. Exactly, exactly. The sponsors will pay. Hopefully, they'll pay to increase your budget. Get you some better riders for next season. It's Roubaix, the rider who's about to make the catch. The Roubaix, the effort from the Roubaix squad is what allowed the breakaway to be caught. But now they're at a stalemate. Will we see an attack from another few riders? Or will we just see the riders chill before we get to the sprint finish? Midland having a few riders on the front, Lopez and Ocampo. They're just chilling. A little bit of a stalemate here, everyone's just relaxed. They know it's going to be a sprint finish, so they're allowing all the sprinters to recover. Here we go. Smithson's just realized the Uber team's like, wait a minute. We don't want to bring this down to a sprint, or we don't want to have to uh, allow other sprinters to have some recovery. We will see some sprint trains forming up shortly. Kind of a messy sprint situation, but we see Alexander Camp in the middle for Sebgo Any Color. He did really well to keep up. 66 Mountain, 75 Hill though. On the right hand side, it is the sprint train of Rinders with Roubaix as a small hill now, about 7% gradient. No one's going to do anything here. The 17k is a bit time for a cheeky attack, maybe back like in Tanner or Hausen. Diamante leading out the Vries, 15 kilometers to go.
Who's at the back of the peloton? It is the Canadian rider. And the, the mountain jersey wearing Fernandez of Benfica. Ten kilometers to go. It's gonna be a, absolutely gonna be a sprint finish. The sprint trains already. It looks like Embrace the World are racing for Quintana here. It is the monster team who are on the front. Abraham Sin, the Norwegian all-rounder, I guess. Driving the pace for their Polish sprinter. Van Rijs will now through the middle of the screen. The Roubaix squad trying to get Reinders into a better position. The, the terrain is very undulating. This is the last hill before the finish. Three kilometers to go. Pulte Kometa hoping for some good results after Ulysses crashed. Well, not crashed out, but fell behind yesterday. It's really Diamante, Roubaix, and Pulte who have the, the trains in the front now. 1.4 kilometers to go. Thomas Boudé is leading out the riders. Riders have been blocked somewhere. It's going to be a sprint for the riders who aren't su normally supposed to sprint. It is the... No, De Vries on the left-hand side, followed by Camp and Boudé. One rider has been dropped and is Pizon. Pinzon. Podium for the stage, Diamante takes the stage win with, holy shit, what the hell is that? Half just De Vries, ahead of Alexander Camp, Thomas Budat, and Barconi. Nara Quintana maintains his lead, no bonus seconds, so it's just sprint points on offer. He's still Nara Quintana still leads the KOM classification. No problem, I'll, I'll change it at my end. At some point, it's all right for this race, but Benfica and and Tunes is leading the points classification, and he's first equal in the mountain classification. Excellent work by him today. The Benfica manager is certainly proud. Two jerseys: Steinhauser still in white, and Seb Sebgal and Color still in the team classification. No DNFs, no time loss, everyone finished on the same time. A few riders changing position in GC, that's just based on where they finished in the bunch. Campers up to Vanderbilt down one. You see, you can see the changes here, but Pernstein are still on 10th. Stage 3, another heli stage, finishes in with a cat 2. So, reasonable day. Ulysses is supposed to be the favourite, more of a punchy day. Alexander Camp also up there. I think we might see Quintana try something once again. But I want to see Pernsteiner on the offensive. I forgot to save the results. Fuck. I'm going to screenshot the results after. Fuck's sake. Before we start, just gonna quickly upload a screenshot of the these results here. Because I didn't do that and I think I forgot the export, but I'll I'll work that out when it gets to it. There's the points. There's the mountain. Actually I up I uploaded this wrong, that's the GC, my mistake, hold on. That's the stage results. So this, whoever does points, cannot kill me for not getting the export. Cool, let's get into it. Are we going to see Antunes in the break again? I hope so. 
hope that Benfica puts some similar riders in the break so that they don't get a different rider in the jersey every day. First attack is by the beat rider. It is Colorado. Is anyone else going to join him? Surely Benfica sends a rider up the road. Fall in the pack. Hewitt. A reasonable fall. Hewitt of St. Michael Uber has abandoned the race. Stockman and Laval also crashed. But Hewitt's the only abandoned. Colorado have beat cycling the only rider out in the breakaway today. He takes maximum points at the sprint. Are we going to see some of these sprinters come through gain some, trying to gain some points here? Nope, looks like Milano is going to take maximum points there, and he does. Beat Cycling now saw the benefit of being out in the breakaway after Benfica gained all those extra sponsor dollars. They're now trying out in front. Oh, Ivan Sosa has fallen. Diego Ulissi also. Sosa is back up, but someone is out the back. Alexander Camp is at the back. His whole team has gone back to collect him. Meanwhile, at the front, is the intermediate sprint. Is anyone sprinting for it? Does not look like it. Looks like Milano is going to take another five points. Alexander Camp, his whole squad is Andrew August now on the front for the sub the Seb Gal Any Color squad. I think the the, the back in contention, Alexander Camp will be feeling a bit of the pain, a bit of the hurt. Let's hope he's still in good form as we have quite a few fans at the well, in the chat talking about how they want him to win the stage. The gap is being reduced by the effort of Monster Palti Cometa also up there. Still Colorado out in front. He's got one more intermediate sprint to go. The rain is coming down hard. Van Boven has punctured from Roubaix. Is Roubaix going to send back the domestics for him? Does not look like it. Van Boven all-round sprinter for the squad will have to descend on his own. There are some splits in the peloton. A few riders have dropped the wheel. It looks like it was Pinzon of Benfica who has dropped the wheel there. Blackmore of Embrace the World also missing out on the split on the split. It's only a few bike lengths. Colorado is about to go through the final intermediate sprint point of the day. Andrew August now gonna lead the peloton over this next point there. August gains some more. Intermediate sprint points. The gap between the two groups is growing, and the second bunch has just set up. Looks like Polti's not happy with that. Polti will not let the gap get too large. Major riders missing out. Looks like a lot of the Benfica squad is a fall in group two. More riders are on the ground. Pada, Milano, and Rice. Not up in GC, not up in points or anything. Other big riders at the back here. So Van Boven, of course. Bassett. Lopez. No one in the top 10 out here, but there's quite a few riders. Gruppetto, that's probably a better word for it. Gruppetto. Colorado still has a minute on the peloton, but that lead is being cut significantly after the rider from Roubaix has rolled to the front. The court has been made and everyone's back together once again. 19 kilometers to go, we see the likes of Quintana now coming to the front. The Gruppetto has just caught up and the two bunches become one. But these three riders who crashed late in the stage 
are still out the back by themselves. Bit of a stalemate, maybe those riders will catch up, but no, an attack by Gret of Beat Cycling to spice things up. Attacking just before the big climb of the day, the Alto D. Gustoya. Everyone's back together now. Hopefully some people have got some energy as Gret goes off on the attack once again, only to be caught by Michael Garrison. This climb here should sort the men out from the boys. Damien Hausen and Pernsteiner are expected to do well here. It is the Polish sprinter. Benezek, who is lifting the pace at the foot of this climb for the monster team. Putting in a large effort. Wanting to try and split the bunch, drop a few riders. Jesus Harada, the best of the GC favorites, up the front. Three kilometers to the top, no one's making any moves yet. Where's Quintana? We saw Quintana on the offensive on the first stage. He's in yellow, is he going to go on the offensive once again? We are just on the little stepping stone as the gradient picks up once again on the climb. The first rider has been dropped from the peloton, it is Pada. He crashed earlier in the stage, as did Reyes, and they had to fight to catch back up. Over the top of the climb, it is Kobo who launches an attack. Is he going for the KOM points, or is he going to continue? Looks like Kobo's continuing. There's three kilometers to the finish line. Kobo's a minute 46 down. He's going for it. Full gas down the hill. Van Boven leading the peloton down the hill, followed by Embrace the World and Alexander Camp. Small little rise before the finish. Kobo, 29 seconds. He's going to hang on. The rider from Kern Farmer takes the third stage of the race as Camp out sprints Van Boven to lead the peloton across the line. Ah, you're the, you're the Kern Farmer manager. Only a few riders losing time, of course, Reyes and Pada, who crashed and had to chase back. Podium for the race. Ivan Kovo takes the stage win 18 seconds ahead of Alexander Kemp and Luca Van Boven. Nara Quintana still in the lead. Steinhauser in second. Looks like there's no change in the top 10. Maybe a few of the orders moved around. But Pernsteiner still in 10th. Quintana still leading the climbing classification. Atune still on second. Then Milano, Fernandez, and, and Lopez. Atunes, Stockham, and Colorado all equal on the points classification. And young rider still Steinhauser with Vanderbilt second, and Kobo gaining those 12 seconds on that stage. Sabo Anakella still in the lead. If I go back. Oh well, stage three, let's get this done before I forget. Any time gaps, just those two who were dropped. Oh, that's right, this guy, he had an injury. Do you see any changes? Like we see a few people moving up and down. Kobo is up to 12th. But still about a minute behind the rest of the GC favorites. Great win by the Kern Farmer squad. No change in there. Equip uh, Kern Farmer up a few places, but otherwise not important. 
Stage 4, another mountain stage, absolute mountain top finish. There is 20 KOM points on offer and another 15 intermediate sprint points. Sosa is the favourite, Pernstein is the 10th favourite. But a few of the riders who are not ranked are doing well in there too. This is the Queen stage of the race. The stage was won by Lopez in real life last year. Miguel Ango Lopez to be exact. Sevilla in third and Juan Diego Alba of Movistar Best PC in second. Here we are, we're off. Another rainy day. In Bantrab. And look at that, finally doing what the manager asked. The Benfica sends their rider. Entune second in KOM, first in the points in the intermediate sprint points jersey to the breakaway. Looks like it's going to be a reasonably sized breakaway today. Four, maybe six riders even. The Schutner. Oh, Pizon. Pinzon. For Benfica is in the break. Two more riders trying to get across. But I'm not sure if they'll be allowed to. That's, of course, Colorado and Van Boven. They will not be allowed to stay away. They've been caught by Embrace the World and Medlin working at the front. And Antunes does not re-attack, but everyone else does, so he misses out. So it looks like Colorado might take the intermediate sprint point jersey. Although Malara doesn't like that. There we have it, six men up the road. Fernandez, the original leader of the KOM classification, Grat from Beat Cycling was on the attack the other day, Van Boven, podium finisher, last stage, Colorado who's first equal in the points classification, and Tunes who is wearing the intermediate sprint points classification jersey, and Kretin from Monster who just wants to show off their beautiful jersey. Benfica, two riders in the breakaway, should be pretty strong. Hopefully they can work together for the intermediate sprint points. There's of course a 29 km an hour crosswind, which is driving a lot of this peloton into the gutter. First intermediate sprint point is coming up in three kilometers time. Fernandez is on the front. Remember Colorado and Etienne are both first equal in that classification. There's a Tunes going for it, is he just going to ride across the line? Looks like they let a Tunes and Tunes take maximum points there. He's now the outright leader of this classification. Why is Harada not winning stages? I don't know why Harada's not winning stages. Second enemy at sprint point in bound. Man, come on, you're in the intermediate sprint classification jersey. You need to, like, try and get more points. He gains one point at the second intermediate sprint. Poor tactics by the men from Benfica. It used to be illegal sending him to CT only. <laughs> I mean, he's fifth overall. But now you've got Quintana in CT, you've got Housen in CT. Peloton is led by Embrace the World and Medlin. Embrace the World, of course, protecting Steinhauser, who is second overall. Nope, second overall is Des Diamante, my mistake. Who the fuck's Embrace the World got? Oh, they have Sosa. Embrace the World has Sosa, that's why. The gap to the breakaway is being cut. It is now less than a minute. The breakaway is looking unorganized. Casmiro has fallen on Benfica. He should get back in, although this crosswind will make it a bit difficult.
the points Jersey and Colorado have been dropped from the breakaway and they're now chilling in the peloton only four riders left out in front 41 seconds they are about to be caught it is Emil Herzog on the front for Embrace the World he has made the catch and Gret straight on the front for Beat Cycling he was in the breakaway and now he's working Ah, he's going for the intermediate sprint point, is he? Or is he lead? He's leading out. Van de Sint Marst. Behind him is his teammate Grat, who will take second in that intermediate sprint classification. Third place goes to Ocampo. We're back on the start line. We've done one whole lap of this little valley as we now go up the climb this time instead of instead of turning off. Three riders out the back. It is Milano, the KOM, well, third place in KOM, Blackmore, and Garrison from Embrace the World. They've worked hard today. Midland for Quintana as they're about to start the final climb of the day. The San Lucas Tolliman, Kern Farmer on the front. Are they working for Kobo? Kobo did a fantastic effort yesterday, winning the stage. We see St. Michael Uber moving up. Their team's very vocal in the chat. The first rider. Antions has been dropped. Lopez also, a lot of riders dropping off the back with the increase in pace by the St. Michael Uber squad. Kern Farmer. I mean, Carboni's on the front. Kobo's also moving up 12th overall. There we go. Looks like Harada's trying something. Quintana saw it out of the corner of his eye and is onto his wheel. No, it's Kobo who tries something, is he? No. No, it looks like people are just moving up for position in the peloton. As your Serata keeps trying and just keeps sitting up. Here we go. More KOM points on offer. 10 points on offer. Even Sosa on the right hand side of the road takes maximum points, sneaking up. No one saw him coming. They worked hard in the beginning of the stage. Everyone thought they were doing it for no reason. There's Carl Frederick Hagen. He's just there at the front to block. As Kern Farm, who is Kern Farmer working for? Oh, Rodriguez. Everyone's using all their domestics to try and catch Sosa. Ryder has been dropped. Contreras has been dropped. At the front is Sosa and Hagen, followed by Damien Hausen, who's about to jump across to the front. Sosa's is doing fine. It's only 11 Ks to go. Everyone's back together and Sosa goes once again. Hagen straight on his wheel. The Pulte rider after Ulysses cracked earlier in the race. Hausen also up there. This trio gaining 25 seconds on the, the peloton. Being led by the Diamante Mexican rider. Freire. Pernsteiner doing some work on the front. Not sure why he'd be wanting to do that. Rodriguez also. Steinhauser, Katana. Looks all the favourites taking turns now. There are a few domestics left. I'm surprised that they're still there. Van der Bele has been dropped. He is sixth overall. Hausen on the front of the front bunch. Steinhauser now countering. Taking with him Pernsteiner, Rodriguez and Katana. Jesus Horada missing out once again.
Alexander Camp has cracked. And he will be losing time today. Quintana has cracked. So is Sosa. Sosa has been dropped now. So it's Hagen trying to make, them, make their way back into the front bunch. Pernstein is looking dead, but he's still up here at the front. He's still doing reasonably well. Steinhaus is looking dead. Everyone's looking dead. Sosa makes his way back to the front bunch. Lemon Harada is probably the only one with the energy here, it looks like. But he's too far down the road to do anything. Pernsteiner trying to hug the wheel of Hagen, trying to hold on for grim death as the percentage as the gradient gets up to 8.5. Sosa's now looking not the greatest. Pernsteiner has recovered a little bit. Maybe not enough. Final KOM point of the day. Steinhauser is going to take maximum points here. Steinhauser now leads the cl climate classification as well as the youth. Second bunch on the road led by Harada. Everyone's looking dead as well. They're a minute down. Bernsteiner moving himself up GC for Benfica. 1.1 kilometers to go. Here's the finish, damn it. Is anyone going to sprint for it? Hausen's going for it. Rodriguez versus Hausen. It looks like Hausen has it on the line. Hausen takes it ahead of Rodriguez. Sosa in third. Pernsteiner in fourth. The second bunch on the road. Let's have a look how they are doing. They've been led across by Harada. Followed by Quintana. Then Lemon. Lemon the leader for Sebgo and color. Here's Alexander Camp now, over two minutes down, still in the top 20 though. Van der Bille also losing a lot of time. He's going to finish 19th. Last rider on the road, Milano. Third in the KOM classification. Could be worse. It certainly could be worse, Mr. Big Dog. I mean, you're doing better than you were at the first stage, so that's always a positive. Podium. Damien Hausen of Roubaix takes the win. Head of Rodriguez, Sosa, Pernsteiner, Steinhauser, Hagen. Then a minute back to Jesus Horada and Quintana. That moves Steinhauser into the lead. Hausen second, Rodriguez third. Steiner fourth, Sosa fifth. Quintana down to sixth. And you can see the rest. Absolutely good for Pernstein, I agree. Best climber is Steinhauser. Points is still Tiago Antunes. Three points ahead of Colorado. Steinhauser leads the youth by three minutes to Vanderbilt. And Team Pulthy Cometa take over from Sebel Gal any color in the team classification. We have it. GC looking a little bit different. Carl Frederick Hagen moving up 20 places with today's effort. Jeez, look at Pulte. 10th, 11th, and 12th. Ulysses. How did Ulysses do on the stage? Are oh, you finished in that second bunch there? Antunes still in first. Steinhauser moving up to first in the. Mountain classification, and he still leads the K1 classification. Pulte up nine places in the teams. Go swim after a tick. <laughs> this is the final stage of the race. Quite a lot of mountain points on offer. It's 21, 23, 25, 27 mountain points on offer. 15 intermediate sprint points on offer, only 97 kilometers. It's going to be a fast stage. Alexander Camp is in Ulysses.
The punctures once again are deemed favourites. The stage was won by surprise, surprise, Miguel Angel Lopez. Here we are in the race. Let's get our top 10 riders in the GC up there. May as well get, actually, let's get top 10 climber, top 10 point intermediate sprint as well. Just to see what happens. No one's going for the breakaway as of yet. Maybe Grath. Some of these Benfica riders should be getting in the breakaway. This is just Grath who's going for it. He is 10th in the point classification. And he wins the, into the KOM sprint there. Jeez, solo breakaway. Nope, there we are. Milano is going for the breakaway too. He wants some more of those mountain points. The shooter is also joining him. Going to get two riders for beat in the breakaway. Diamante, St. Uber, and Polti are leading the peloton. Jeez, look how skinny these roads are. Looks bloody steep as well. This is not my kind of day. Milano is paying for his efforts of trying to get in the breakaway. He's looking dead, but he's still a minute 40 ahead of the peloton. Jeez, even the helicopter can't get that high. Grath's about to take maximum points at the top of the climb. The shooter will take second. Milano will take third. Peloton's no one's sprinting for it, they're just chilling up the climb. Who takes it? It looks like Biscata takes fourth over the top of that climb. Oh, Grat is first equal in mountain classification now. He has been joined by his teammate, the Schuttner. Milano is about to make the catch. Looks like he was about to, but could not make the catch. The Schuttner also dropped now. Just Grat out in front. Bizcaro, of course, leading the peloton up the climb. Stockman's moving up. Grat is the leader of the KOM classification. Some splits happening up this climb. Riders have been dropped. Milano's right out the back. It's going to be a really hard day for him. See Silva. Garrison. Looks like a bunch of the intermediate sprint points. And Tunes is in a small grappetto. I think they're trying to work themselves back into the pack. Bassett and Marchand are just off the back. Intermediate sprint point one, of course, by Grat in the pack. Anyone going to sprint for it? Stockman is trying to go for it. He takes a few more points there. KOM with two points on off of a first over. Oh, there's a big fall in the pack. Damien Hausen, Carboni, Lemon, Dreg, Van Boven. They're all on the ground, but they're all up again. Ooh, they're going to be hurting today, especially Hausen. Hausen, of course, high up on GC. Second overall, only 14 seconds down. Quintana has had a puncture. The Midland squad is waiting for him. He is sixth overall. Oh, 
Riders are being dropped once again. Colorado is dropped out the back of Vanderwerf. Glatt still has a two-minute lead on the peloton. Looks like Glatt has rode himself into the mountain classification jersey. He absolutely has. Quintana is still coming up from the rear. Quintana's almost here. He's burning through domestics. Quintana's on the back of the peloton. As the gap to the breakaway reduces to 40 seconds, Galat is looking dead out in front. He takes maximum points at the intermediate sprint. And the, the Peloton once again do not care. Smithson of, of St. Michael Uber has fallen. He's back up on his bike though. Pulte is leading the peloton. Final KOM at point up for grabs now. Everyone is back together at the front. Ukrainian rider Budi Budiak. There's an attack by a rider. It is attacked by Budiak. Is he going for the KOM points? Sosa now counters. He goes up to Gret. What's Sosa going for here? What's Budiak going for? Sosa takes second over the top of that climb. And he's continuing. Sosa is continuing his attack. Sosa's going for about 20 kilometers to go. Sosa wants to try and gain some time. The train is very undulating, so now is the moment to attack if anyone else wants to join him. Is a big split in the peloton. Fernandez is on the wrong side of it as it tunes August. No top 10 GC riders. They're about to make the catch with the Kern Farmer boys leading the pace there. So this has now got 20 seconds. His lead is being cut. It is Casmiro of Benfica. And Benezek who are driving the pace. Pernstein does not look like he's having a good day. He's chilling at the back of the peloton. He should be further up as we see Sosa is now caught Budiak. The two of them are going on the offensive. It is Labros and Lopez of Sebgal and Nicola who are trying to chase them down. Sosa takes maximum points at the sprint points there. Is he going to continue attacking or is he going to sit up? The core has been made. Sosa has been caught by the peloton. It's going to come down to a sprint unless we see some more attacks from some of these GC guys. Jesus Harado being silent all races going for it. The man who is said to be illegal in Conti only races has instantly got a 10 second lead on the peloton. His teammate, Geshenard, is now counter-attacking before Harada was caught. Vanderbilia second in the youth classification wearing white on this stage. The peloton is splitting up completely. Pernsteiner on the wrong side of that as with Hausen, Hagen and Conchi. There's Rodriguez, Sosa. Ulysses, Steinhauser, and Quintana are the second bunch on the road. First bunch is Geshenard. Harada has his teammate with him. Van de Bille and Van Boven also joining him there. Three kilometers to go. They have a 20 second lead. Harada could be moving up GC. Pernsteiner now counter attacks. Conchie straight onto his wheel. He's trying not to be left out. One 700 meters to go. Van Boven launches the sprint. We missed out on that. Harada comes around the right-hand side. But it's Van Den Bildi who wins the stage ahead of Harada. We'll see how, how far back these guys finish. They are finishing 32 seconds behind. Hagen takes the, the best of the rest. Where's Pernsteiner? 
Persona's right at the back of the Peloton group. Let's hope there are no time gaps here for him. Last rider on the road, Milano. He is not happy with the stage. He's not happy with any of the stages. I mean, he wore the KOM jersey for a few stages. Great exposure for his squad. The Benfica rider who is out the back is Silva. Everyone finishes the race. Let's have a look at the final podiums. Stage classification. Van den Bille. Harada in second. 18 seconds back for Geshenard and 37 seconds back for Conchi. Overall, Steinhauser wins ahead of Hauser and Rodriguez. Pernsteiner still in fourth. Sosa then Harada in sixth. Close to what Joe was saying. Sosa just in front of him. Grat takes the Climber Classification jersey, taking that on the final stage. And tunes the Intermediate Sprint points. He was lucky to hold on to that. There wasn't another Intermediate Sprint, or else Grat could have taken that. Youth, of course, Steinhauser. Van der Bille in second. And Team Polti Cometa take the Team Classification ahead of so I've got any color and Team Diamante. Let's have a look. Any big, big time gaps? Everyone really finished in the peloton here. No one really losing too, too much time. Let's have a look at the GC. Steinhauser takes the crown. What about Hauser and Rodriguez? Harada moves up one place to sixth. Quintana down one. Conchi up one. Lemon down one. Vandevilla not quite enough to make it into the top 10. Carl Frederick Hagen taking that place there for Team Polti. First three pages of GC, let's go points. Mountain. Youth classification. Team classification. Well, thanks for tuning in. Apologies again for not having the stage two results exported. But anyway, whoever's doing points, here's stage two. There's GC, whoops. There's stage two there. 
Sprint for Div Rice. Cool, thanks for tuning in, people. Have enjoy the rest of your days.